Good morning and welcome to this Saturday, October the 3rd version of From Sunrise to Sunset with Pastor Gene. Uh, I do want to remind everyone that we are going to be opening tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock for worship. Uh, it will be Holy Communion and after you receive the sacrament, we would ask that you uh, exit the sanctuary as quickly as possible so that we can um, do what we need to do to the sanctuary uh, post-worship service so we can continue to, to keep the church open for public worship. So your cooperation in this is going to be greatly appreciated and allow us to do so much more. So thank you for your cheerful conformity to it in advance. I want to finish up here today with uh, the parable of the wicked tenants by looking at, beginning to look at verse 42. Jesus said to them, have you never read in the scriptures, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing and it is amazing in our eyes. Those who went into the vineyard or were sent into the vineyard by the landowner and were rejected and killed went out of faithfulness and trust in God. They went because they were good on their word. Faithful to their purpose and promise. When God sent Jesus into the world, some people were already beginning to recognize that he was the one of God sent to save. Sent to save all. The very mention of um, back in the parable of the two sons about the prostitutes and the tax collectors are evidence that the sending of Jesus and obedience to the will of God was something that was being opened up to all people. And too often, and I've said this before, too often we treat membership in the church like being a member of a club with rights and benefits. The only rights and benefits we have as a Christian is whatever God's grace gives us. So the truth of the matter is, once we become a Christian, we submit our will to his. And in this passage of scripture, Jesus brings up the whole matter of the production of fruits again. And he says these words, Therefore, I will tell you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to people that produce fruits for the kingdom. Not for themselves, but for the kingdom. And the one who falls on this stone, meaning the chief cornerstone, will be broken into pieces and it will crush anyone on whom it falls. These are strong words, and even upon hearing them, the chief priests and the Pharisees realized that Jesus was talking about them. I wonder as we hear these words, if we hear Jesus talking about us. I think it's past time for us in the Christian community to ask those sort of self-reflective questions, especially as we are living in a time of so much me, 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 
instead of fruits for the kingdom. I don't know about you, but Jesus coming into Jerusalem that last week of his earthly life is what made all of the difference in the world. It's what said the way we've always done it may not be what God wants, may not even be the way of righteousness. So how will we produce fruit for the kingdom? As we reopen Seaside United Methodist Church for public worship, I believe we're going to begin to see it. I believe we're going to begin to see it unfold right before our eyes. And maybe we're seeing it even now from sunrise to sunset. <laughs>